All right, let's get to filming this video. Hey everyone. That's right everyone. I'm back with another video on my far from home suit And I'm sorry to say that is not even near completion. So it's been a tough uh, month or so and uh, Yeah, it's not gonna get any easier. God, I love being in high school now This video will unfortunately not be on the actual sewing of my uh, far from home suit That's just because well, I haven't really worked on it uh, since the uh, last video, but since then I have I have completed this. This is my new far from home face shell and lens kit from TJEC. So yeah, I ordered another uh, face shell lens kit from TJEC. This is the far from home one. Uh, I obviously have the mask over it because I'm gonna wear it eventually in this video, but yeah, so I'll be showing you guys how to put one of these together. So first, what you're gonna get in the package that you order from TJEC when you're gonna order this kind of set is you're gonna get the lenses, frames, you're gonna get the actual face shell, you're gonna get magnets, and then you're gonna get these like clear plastic filter things. So some of the other tools you're gonna need for this project is a hot glue gun, a heat gun, a Dremel tool, and a drill. Is that everything you need? Yeah, it's basically all I used. Oh yeah, and a cans of paint, that might also help. So the first thing you're really gonna do is, first you're gonna take your heat gun and your lens frames, and then you're gonna heat them up, like just till like they're malleable and formable, and then you're gonna put it against the actual face shell and burn your hands. <laughs> This way the uh, lenses can kind of form to the face shell and then like they'll be in the shape of like the actual face shell and not just be stiff against it. Next you're gonna prime them with some paint primer. I like to use Rust-Oleum. This is Rust-Oleum's primer, uh, just use white. And then after that you're gonna paint them black. I used a flat black and then I eventually just put a clear glossy coat over it just so it can get that nice glossy look as you can kind of see right here. After that you're gonna put the lenses like Together, together. So first you're gonna take the mesh in the film that you get from T-Jack and then you're gonna kinda put it against the back of the lens to like make an outline of where you wanna cut out the, you know, the, the lens. And then after that you're just gonna cut them out and then, then you're gonna glue it on with some hot glue and then glue the mesh on with some hot glue and then you should get a nice looking lens like this. Minus the magnets. I think you can see through these. Yeah, you can see me. Hi, how you doing? But yeah, you're gonna get this. So then the, uh, almost the last step would be just to add the magnets. And the way I did it was I put the magnets where I would put them on the face shell. They, this one, they have little like kind of dips inside or something like that. So you can like, so you know where to add the magnets, like two of them, like right here and here. So I added the, ma I put the magnets on both sides of the face shell on the inside and the outside. And I put hot glue on the magnets and then I just kind of glued on the lens to the magnets, took them off, and then glued the uh, magnets inside. The next few steps that I'm gonna tell you are kind of optional that we can do. So basically you can drill some uh, breathing holes inside the mask. So like my other facial lens kit, you didn't need to do that just because the mesh was breathable, but these ones, since they have the clear film on them, you can't, it'll cause them to fog up. So you can do the thing I did and was just basically drill some holes to breathe out of. And then another step you can do that I've done to most of my face shells now, but I basically put these little padding, like padding strips on there, like this kind of nice foam that kind of just helps you be a little bit more comfortable in there and also kind of helps it, especially if you have a smaller head like mine uh, with these face shells kind of fit better. So yeah, you can go like that and then it just kind of, kind of makes it a better a streamlined face shape and then it's also very comfortable. And then another thing you can do, uh, which I did, to which I'm gonna do later probably, is add and add a rubber coating to the outside of this face shell. Cause you can tell this face shell is a little more matte than when you last saw it, just because I put a black rubber sealant over which uh, the one I used was a uh, Rust-Oleum rubber sealant. Uh, I'll leave a link in, am, like to an Amazon link where you can buy one. This works really well just because I like the fact that it grips on to the mask so it doesn't like just slide everywhere as you're trying to adjust it or whatever and works really well. Now that you know how to assemble this uh, particular face shell and lens kit, I'm gonna just compare them real quick like to the original homecoming face shell that he has. Basically this is how it looks. All right, so I got the homecoming face shell on the mask, so I'm just gonna put it on now. Good. Yeah. This one, I think, in my personal opinion, is a tad, like, 
more comfortable for my face. I think it's just because I've kind of worn it out at this point. But, yeah, I'm just... There we go, okay. I can definitely breathe better in this one. But, yeah, so you can kind of tell that it's different from the Far From Home face shell. So you can just kind of compare them real quick. Yeah, these are definitely smaller. So yeah, if you guys are wondering, again, who made this face shell, this was made by T-Jack and uh, Matthew DC. Hopefully that's his name. I never get his Instagram right, but yeah, this is this was like a, another collaborative work by them. They also did the homecoming face shell and lenses, but yeah, I love what they do. They do an amazing job together, especially with these face shells. They also have like web shooters. They have a PS4 face shell. You no, know, they have logos. You, you, know, you can just go check them out on their Instagrams. I'll leave links to the description below. That way you can also learn how to order from T-Jack because for some reason a lot of people don't know how to order from T-Jack, but he has a post saying everything on how to order from him. Basically hit him up and you can probably get one of these too. I really recommend it. They're beautiful and you know, they're comfortable. They're lightweight. They'll protect you, I'm almost 100% sure if you get punched in the face maybe. And uh, yeah, they're pretty easy to put together if you have the right stuff. So guys, that's it for this video. I know it's not what I promised. I know I said at the beginning of this year that I would be putting out more content. Um, it's just been a little rocky uh, since after New Year's, but I promise that content is coming. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you guys next time.